Good afternoon everybody, this is Kevin with Kevin's Card Collecting and more. And looks like we've got two right off the bat. We got Fitzy 23s in the house and Kendall. Kendall looks like Fitzy beat you out by half a second there. That was a close one though. You guys popped up just about simultaneously, but I'm showing Fitzy on top. So oh and then we got Sportsline coming in third. Good to see you. I'm doing very well. Hobbyist is here. Jared Califf is here. Hi to see good to see you. Hobbyist says one. E Hobbyist, sorry, you are looks like about fourth. Unfortunately. Jared Khalif. Do I know Jared? Jared, are you new to the channel? I appreciate you jumping in. Oh, you misspelled everyone. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, I got you. I see where you did that. Okay. All right, we're going to give it a few minutes. I want to start probably at the top of the hour, which is four minutes away. I jumped in a little early. Kendall says, someone blocked him. I'm not sure why Jared... Uh, Retracted his message, but uh, oh, he just retracted another one. Just curious, can one of my moderators or somebody just kind of go check that out and see the story behind him and his channel? I want to make sure everything's on the up and up. So today is Fairfield Friday, and I do have my traditional two boxes of Fairfield. Last week I did three, but if you remember, that was something special. I had three boxes I got at the same Walgreens all at the same time, and all three of them had a Miguel Cabrera facing out the front there. So I had to open all three up at the same time just to verify that they were similar packs, and if you guys remember, they were. In fact, they all three contained the entire team set from, I want to say 2017, was it? No, 2016. It was 2016. Uh, tops, right? Yeah, tops. I'm looking at them right here. Yeah, the entire team set for the Detroit Tigers, which is a very unusual thing to, to come across. But that's why I opened up three last week. But we've got a lot of stuff today, so I'm going to just bring it back down to two. Um, and then we'll... Because this is also a Fairfield product, I did pick up a Hot Corners box at Target last time I was there. And it's kind of nice to have this in reserve. In the, in the event we don't pull a hit out of one of these two, you're guaranteed two hits out of here. So, And traditionally speaking, on the new Hot Corner box, in fact, every one I've seen open contains two autographs. I've not seen any relics pulled out of this new Hot Corner box yet. So... Uh, if that streak continues, then we pretty much guaranteed two autos. Um, I do have some mail call. Initially, I had three packages of mail for today, and then the mailman came by today and dropped off one more package, so we're up to four now. So we'll open up four. And then if time permits, I do have a 10 of 2020 I want to open up. But like I said, well, I like to end the, the streams with modern stuff, even if we start with older stuff. I like to end with modern, so hopefully we'll get a chance to rip into that here at the end. Let me get caught up here real quick. Um, Fitzy says you got your... Okay, I'm glad you got it, bud. Hope that helps out uh, building your collection back up. Everybody saying hello to everybody. Okay, we've got another minute to go. Then we'll start ripping. I Again, I've... And I do have a bit of a time crunch today. I don't think it's going to even come close to this, but... at <clears throat> at 7 o'clock, which is in three hours from now, I've got a friend coming over. Uh, we're planning on going out in the morning to fly our RC airplanes, and he needs to do some work on his plane. So he's going to bring it over at 7 o'clock, and we're going to work on the, the fuel tank, some of the plumbing lines to the carburetor, some, some engine work, stuff like that. Hopefully get his plane ready to go for tomorrow. So I, I do have that engagement at in three hours, but I don't think we're going to have a conflict because this should not take that long. Um, if any of you guys, I know Sportsline was there, 
I think Kindle was in and out, but this morning Donald's uh, channel was awesome. That box that SSP sent him uh, was insane. That was incredible. That was the, uh, the the box break of the year. I should say of the decade. Well, no, we're in the new decade too. Uh, Millennium, how's that? What happened to Jared? He came in a couple times and then retracted his messages and then he disappeared. Jerry, are you still out there floating around? You're welcome to uh, converse amongst us. For whatever reason, my chat is not letting me go to Jared's channel. It lets me go to everybody else's channel. But when it comes to that Jared Khalif guy, I don't have the option. May have been a personal challenge accident. Is anybody else able to bring up his channel? Just curious. Before we start ripping, I want to kind of solve this little mystery. I like these little uh, adventures. Hey there, Donald. We're just getting started. I jumped on about five or six minutes ago, and i am just been chatting away here. Uh, he had two subs. Okay, so it's probably a new account. Oh, okay. That may explain it. Okay, I'm not going to worry about it. So, if he wants to hang out in the background, that's just fine, too. So, Donald, I was just starting to bring up the, the, the box that you opened this morning. That was incredible. That, uh, the bar has been set. Um, I do have uh, my package that came from SSP right here. Um, this is embarrassing, and I think you can appreciate this, Donald. I don't have a clue what's in here. I don't remember if it's from a sale or if it's from a, a break that I bought into. <laughs> I've just, you, it's so easy to get lost and lose track of things. And then I've got other mail that, um, well here, I'll show you. This is an eBay uh, purchase that I'm gonna show off here in a little while after the Fairfields. I know what this is, this is gonna be pretty cool. So you're gonna like that one. And then this is, uh, again, I don't know if this was a buy-in or a break or a sale, but Eloy Flores, uh, what they call him, Eloy the Goat, these came from him. And then this is a sur surprise package. This one came from Chuck Dupree. You all know Chuck. He's a he's a regular. Sometimes, uh, well, he, no, he's normally in my, my chat, so hopefully he'll show up later before uh, I get a chance to open this up. But this is a surprise. I have no idea what he sent me, so I'm, I'm anxious to see what that's all about. So there's our mail. We do have our tin for 2020. We'll open up at the very, very end. But we will start off with our Fairfields. And it looks like there are two different uh, packaging times because typically when the, the packages come together, like when I buy them at the store in groups of two or three, the insert pack is almost always the same amongst all the boxes. So here's a little different. We've got, uh, I'm not sure what, that's Donruss, I'm pretty sure. I just don't remember what year. And that looks like maybe a leaf pack. Leaf maybe 91 or 92. Of course, we'll see when we get into it. But it's good to get uh, some variety there. Um, let's see. Donald says, got your package in the mail today. You're my only family mail call tomorrow. Oh, cool. All right. Well, it won't last you as long as uh, SSP's box, unfortunately. So I hope you have other content, Donald, than just that because it might be a short video. Uh, 91 Donruss. Is that, what, is that what that is? Okay. 91 Donruss. Thanks, sir, hobbyist. And like I said, then we'll finish the Fairfield off with the hot corner box because you're guaranteed two hits. Uh, four total packs, which means you're going to get three regulars and one hobby pack. Hobby pack, of course, ups your odds a little bit in getting a hit. So possibility of three hits, guaranteed two, possibly three. But you never know, you might get a hit out of one of the regular packs, too. 
you never know. So I'm going to set the mail further aside so I got room to stretch out here. We're well beyond my uh, four o'clock starting time. Uh, series two, okay. I think series two is the um, the green border cards. I think series one was the blue border, and series two had the green border. Um, but I appreciate you putting me in the right direction because I wasn't sure what year that that teal or I don't know light blue color comes from maybe turquoise so but we'll go ahead and start with it we'll save that mystery leaf i think i'm pretty sure that's a leaf i just don't know what year so we'll start with this fairfield first oh uh, yes i have that 97 minute oh you got your pinnacle in good i didn't know if you had received it or not yet donald that is cool that's those are pretty neat those coins and uh and the way they fit in the cards okay all right just for fun, I know it doesn't mean anything, but I do like to look at the date. So this box was dated December 9th, uh, December 23rd, 2019, two days before Christmas. But we've determined that's just the date that this box was printed. That's not necessarily the date that the cards were actually put in there. Because Donald and I have both found out that we found some 2018 boxes that had the 2018 stamp that contained... 2019 cards in them so that kind of debunked our uh, theory on that date uh bobby catalano's in the house good to see you bobby it's been a while it's really good to see you i've been watching all your mail call videos and all your stuff you've been getting some good stuff lately and bobby i know i was on, i'm on your list for uh autograph cards I'll just have you know that I have a delivery coming, I think, Monday, directly from Tops. This is the first time I've announced this, by the way. My personalized baseball cards will get here, I believe, on Monday. So once I get those, I'll start sending them out to my loyal followers, and uh, you'll all get one. So I'm looking forward to that. I hope it looks as good in person as it does on the computer screen when I put the thing together. So here's the first stack. We'll, we'll start with this half. I don't see anything. Thick ones in there, but you never know. All right, so here we go. Yep, series two. That is series two, and uh, hobbyist said it was ninety-one, and I do believe him. So, all right. Oh, what am I doing? I'm not. I, that needs to wait. <laughs> I'm jumping the gun here. I'm anxious to rip. All right, so starting off right off the bat here, the front card was a Francisco Lindor. Very nice card from Bowman. What year is that? That's a 2019. 2019. I'm just reading the chat here. Hey, Alex, how you doing? Thanks for jumping in. All right, here we go. We got uh, Gerald Young with the Astros. Got Greg Hibbard with the White Sox. Bunch of upper deck here. We got Kirk McCaskill with the Angels and a Teg Iguera with the Brewers. And here's a Whitey Herzog. Manager for the Cardinals, Jeff Brantley with the Giants, Rick Cerrone with the, is that the Cubs? No, the Mets, I'm sorry. Colors are similar, but not quite the same. Uh, here's a Mike Lavalier, French, Frenchy French name. Bob Melvin with the Orioles, he ended up becoming the, I want to say second or third manager for the D-backs. Not the first, but second or third. <clears throat> Uh, there's Kurt Manwaring's rated rookie card for the Giants. 
Damon Hollins for the Braves. Shane Costa with the Royals. Trey Beeman with the Pirates. Isaac, how you doing? Good to see you. Jose's in the house. Good to see Jose. Sorry to hear that, Kendall. Yeah, Kendall, I'm sorry I didn't make it to your, your stream, buddy. Um, no excuse. I, I am working from home, and I am wrapped up with some work duties, and sometimes they conflict. I do apologize for not uh, jumping on. But don't be discouraged. Been there, done that. I When I first started my videos, I'd be lucky to get a couple in as well. But uh, just keep at it. Keep at it for sure. There's Ken Howell. Dave Otto with the Indians. Chuck Knobloch for the Twins. Terry Francona for the Brewers. Uh, well, there's an old throwback. Wow. Wait, Hoyt for the Yankees. He played... Uh, from 1918 to 1938. Wow. That's a Upper Deck Yankees Legends card. Interesting. 21-year career. Uh, Jeff Reed with the Reds. Uh, here's a Jason uh, Nix for the Sox. It's interesting. The Padres have a pitcher named Jacob Nix. Not a common name, but uh, nonetheless, there's Jason Nix. And there's a Kip Wells with the White Sox, another pitcher for the Sox. Oh, yeah. That's okay. I mean, yeah, it's a way to chat. It's a way to converse with your friends, and it's all good. It's all good. Uh, there's Greg Brock for the Brewers. Phil Garner for the Dodgers. Here's a Javi Lopez card. Which looks like he's got Barry Bonds in there as well with him. It doesn't specifically say, but that looks like Barry Bonds. I'm guessing from that picture maybe it was a third strike dropped ball and he's getting ready to tag him out. Just a guess. Uh, Rob Dibble with the Reds. Uh, John Doherty for the Tigers. Tony Phillip for the Tigers. There's Jeff Colbrun, star rookie card. Says he's with Jacksonville. Oh, there it says Expos at the bottom. Okay. All righty. Les Straker for the Twins. Tim Burke with the Expos. Al Newman for the Twins. Jimmy Williams for the Blue Jays. There you go, Alex. Oh, that's cool, Kendall. That's always fun. Yeah. Mail, mail days are a lot of fun to do. Yeah, nice shot of Javi and Bonds. Okay, yeah. That, I thought that was Barry Bonds. <laughs> Go Jays. Uh, Rich Montalion with the Angels. Rafael Belliard for the Pirates. Rafael Santana for the Yankees. Lance Parrish for the Angels. Sean Abner for the Padres. Uh, Bill Sampin for the Expos. Uh, Brewers leaders card, followed by Jeffrey Leonard. Oh my word, guys, we got a hit. I, I just saw it there. Um, I don't know if you guys caught it. We wow. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. We'll come back to that. I shouldn't have been so quick with my cards, but uh, don't know if you guys saw it or not. Now, oh my word, is this really what I think it is? Okay, you know how guys, uh, this is funny. Right in front of our hit, or I should say, right behind our hit. You know how I'm always talking about Fairfield is notorious for always having a duplicate 
Sometimes on rare occasions, a triplicate card. Check this out. This is a uh, Phil Leftwich for the California Angels. But look at this. One, two, three, and four. A quad set of Phil Leftwich cards. <laughs> wow. Well, if I was a Phil Leftwich fan, I'd be in heaven, but uh, unfortunately, I can't even say I've ever heard of the guy. Uh, wow. Okay, that's very, very interesting. All right, we got uh, Don Acey for the Orioles, uh, Juan Samuel for the Phillies, <laughs> uh, Hubie Brooks for the Expos, uh, Doug DeCensis for the Angels. There's a Will Clark Players of the Decade card out of Fleer 90. And then a Jim Traber. Uh, Steve Sachs. So this is our third uh, yellow border Donruss 86 card out of a highlight set. Oh, does he? Sportsline. Okay, let me... You know what? Before I forget, let me go back and pull that one. I think that'd make for a beautiful TTM. Uh, Sportsline, would you be able to uh, email me later with some more info so I uh, can uh, do something with that card? If you could, that'd be awesome. Thank you very much. If not, I understand, but if, you, if you're able to, that'd be much appreciated. Cool. Appreciate it. That, that I think that would just look, up, look really good with uh, an auto on it. Nice and clean. The colors are just right. Uh, there's that Steve Sachs. Hey, there's a Fred Lynn. Hall of Famer. I'll set that one aside. And are you kidding me? Another one of these. Oh, it's the <laughs> guys. Check this out. Three more Phil Leftwiches. That makes a total of seven of this guy. And then our last, a Chris Sabo. There you go. Round it off with a famous Sabo card. I'll put that one kind of aside. But let me go out back and dig out those Leftwiches cards. This is insane. Seven cards of the same guy. So basically, I bought a 100-card box, and I only got 93 that are different. Wow. Look at this. Seven Phil Leftwich cards. <laughs> that is insane. Look at that back. That's actually kind of a cool effect, but... Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. <laughs> Again, Chris Sabo. That's funny. Bobby says, you got 13 of the same football player? Seriously? Wow. Seven cards for seven TTMs? Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know if he does TTM. But uh, actually, it would look kind of nice with an auto on it. Um, just, <laughs> wow. Apparently, whoever donated this particular batch of cards to Fairfield was a huge Phil Leftwich fan. And, um, since I've never even heard of the guy, maybe, maybe he's the one who donated him. <laughs> you never know. All right, so again, we're going to hold on to that hit. I want to say, is it, yeah, I'm going to, well, it's upside down. Let me grab a, a filler card. Okay, now I'll reverse it. So we'll come back to that after we finish up with the rest of this box. So here's our 91 Series 2 Donruss pack. Uh, you can play poker with <laughs> Yes, dear. Thank you. Um, yeah, the way I was kind of fanning them kind of looked like I knew what I was doing with cards. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Yep. Um, Jay says, I'm in Sesame Street. Okay. Uh, he's looking it up. 13. Huh? That is amazing, Bobby. 13. Wow. I hope it was he anybody good or was he just a, like a no-namer? <laughs> oh, I got you. 
Today's stream is brought to you by the letter K and the number 7. That's the reference to Sesame Street. I got gotcha. you. The count. Yeah, I'm not going to do my count impression for you all, but... Uh, no. All right. <clears throat> uh, Willie Stargell, puzzle piece. <laughs> I, now I got this image in my head of the count calling off Phil Leftwich cards. Anywho, moving on. Uh, Jeff Parrott with the Braves. Joe Ursulak with the Orioles. Ricky Henderson, very nice. That green border looks really good with the uh, A's uniforms. So I'll set that one aside. George Bell for the Blue Jays. John Burkett for the Giants. Brad Arnsberg for the Rangers. Andy Bennis for the Padres. Uh, Russ Swan for the Seattle Mariners. Shout out to Donald. Mike Perez for the Cardinals. Andy Hawkins. Uh, got a bunch of Andy Hawkins Padres cards back in the 80s, so apparently he traded to New York. John Smiley, still not smiling. That's, that's about as close as I've gotten a smile out of that guy. But um, getting better. Uh, Junior Ortiz for the Twins. We got Jason Grimsley for the Phillies. Bill Kruger. Um, for the Brewers, and Todd Hundley for the Mets. So the hit of that one was definitely going to be that Ricky Henderson, which is a beautiful card with that green border. Uh, what have I missed? Go Rays. What's up, SSP? Don't you mean Jays? <laughs> go Jays. Oh, go Rays. You say, Yeah, I wondered why you put that. I thought you were rooting on Bobby's team, giving her some support. Uh, miss spring training. Yeah, we all do. That's, yeah, ugh. that's rough. Yeah, SSP, I was uh, kind of giving you a shout out there at the beginning. I do have your package here to open. I'm going to wait till near closer to the end. Um, it, after this morning's uh, video with Donald, that was just, that blew my mind. That was awesome. Um, good stuff. Hunter's in the house. Good to see you, buddy. All right, moving on. Again, guys, we do have a hit out of this box, but I'm concealing it till the end of this stack here. But we did get a hit out of the uh, Fairfield box, so that's cool. All right, uh, let's get these turned some sort of order here. You know what? I'm going to set those... Uh, that is such a novelty piece. I'm going to pull those left witch cards out. SSP, I'm not sure if you uh, have ever heard of this guy. <clears throat> so this, I got this in the same Fairfield box, right behind my hit, which hasn't yet been revealed. But SSP, I got this guy named Phil Leftwich. Not sure if you've ever heard of him. But after I pulled this card, I pulled this card. It's a Phil Leftwich for the California Angels. And, uh, and then after I pulled this card, I pulled this card. It looks like uh, a pitcher for the Angels. His name is Phil Leftwich. And then after I pulled this guy's card, I pulled this guy's card. Very uh, similar uh, characteristics of that Phil Leftwich guy. Then I pulled this one after that. And if that weren't enough, then I pulled this one. And then after that, I pulled this one. S seven cards in a row of the same guy. So I am going to set that aside just as a novelty piece. All right, <laughs> it's messed up. I know, right, because that means basically of the 100 cards, um, seven of them are identical, so I got, what, 93 other guys? That's funny. Watch, well, you never know. There might be more in here. Uh, we got, here's the second half of the box, by the way. Rich Monteleone for the Yankees. Uh, Manny Ramirez for the Indians. Mike McFarlane for the Royals. Here's an old heritage card for the Dodgers. It's going to be Marquise Grissom. This is out of the 2001 set. Uh, Dwayne Ward for the Toronto Blue Jays. Another Blue Jays. Getting a lot of Blue Jays here, Alex. You might have something to do with this box here. Um, 
Let's see. Then we got this guy here. We got uh, Jeremy Hernandez for the Mar Marlins. I'm having to tilt these cards because the angle of these names are really hard to read in the light. Uh, Rich Roland for the Red Sox. Hey, Mike Myers. Is that our Mike Myers? I do believe it is. Mike Myers from uh, the YouTube channel. That's cool. I'm going to set that one aside. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. Oh, Mike Myers. I know he does a lot of TTM videos. I don't know if he actually does TTM himself. Um, I may reach out to him and see what we can do on that card. That's pretty cool. All right. <clears throat> uh, Brian Barnes for the Expos. Rob Murphy for the Red Sox. Sorry, I had a little off-centered here. Um, this is a thick card here. Uh, Mark Langston doing the high leg kick. Steve Buscelli for the Pirates. Rick Honeycutt for the A's. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Jose Canseco 40-40 card. I know Topps has a 40-40, or is it Donruss has the 40-40? But uh, Fleer, obviously, they've got a 40-40 here as well. I'll set that one aside. Um, Hippolito Picardo. I don't remember the last name Picardo, but I remember Hippolito. That name is uh, not all that common. You tend to remember things like that. Here's a Frank Tanana for the Tigers. Scott Bradley for the Seattle Mariners. And Roger Clemens, All-Star American League card. And a George Bamberger. George Bamberger. Interesting. And a checklist. All right, out of Upper Deck 91. Here's an Eric Davis for the Tigers. Pat Watkins, 93 draft pick card. Uh, it's growing. Don't forget to get count. Oh, yeah, thanks, uh, Alex, for the reminder. <laughs> Kevin, good to see you, Kevin. Bamberger, I know, right? Not the most common uh, name. Um, let's see. These cards are all every which way. Uh, I think whoever sword, sorts for Fairfield used to work for Upper Deck because this is the same way Upper Deck cards come. Upside down, backwards, inside out, every which way. Uh, there's Daryl Porter sporting the uh, thick glasses. He and Sabor are in a contest. Who could wear the goofiest lenses? Pat Combs for the Phillies. I'm not one to talk. I wear glasses myself. There's Reggie Jefferson for the Indians. Dan Pasqua for the White Sox. Mark Lewis for the Indians. Steve Farr for the Yankees. Uh, Mike, oh, sorry, guys, didn't give you a warning on this. 91 Fleer, put on the shades. Mike Walker. Uh, this, this guy, um, I've not seen his name before, but he's up there in line with Bob Walk. Got Bob Walk and Mike Walker. Not good names for pitchers. Uh, Doug Drabeck. Chad Curtis for the Angels. John Briquette for the Giants. Mickey Tettleton for the Orioles. Trevor Hoffman. is it? Oh, that's his rookie card, I believe. It is. Boom. Guys, that's a hit. I got to ring the bell for this one. That's a Trevor Hoffman rookie card. You don't see this that often. Um, I do have one in my collection, and it was uh, gifted to me because uh, I thought I'd never actually pull one. So that is really cool. Trevor Hoffman rookie card. Here, I got to get another standout for that. That's cool. Um, uh, let's see. Hey, Kevin, I stick to contacts. If you're going to get one size top loader for relics, which size would you buy? Hmm. 
the thinner ones will fit in like a, a 55 or 80 or what 75 i'm not sure what size they come in but i think your thicker ones are like 120 130 somewhere around there um dan pasqua ttms let me go find that one got it all right thank you sportsline just keep calling them out as you see them oh kindle you went to a uh, hoffman's hall of fame induction that is cool that is cool it's isn't it ironic guys did you guys catch the uh the little innuendo there what did I do when I pulled his card? I rang the bell. Now, it's a different tone of bell, but you guys remember whenever he'd come out of the field, they'd play uh, the bells. Um, this is a cool card. Tim Salmon. It's kind of got a nice little, I don't know, ref refractor stuff going on on the border. Uh, there's a Lloyd Mosby for the Blue Jays. Yeah, more Blue Jays here, Alex. Uh, Jeff Hamilton. For the Dodgers, Luis Polonia. But you went for Chipper, though. I don't. I, I I can understand that. You're a Braves fan. Uh, Lenny Dykstra, Phillies. The Joe Ursulak, Leaf '86. You don't see Leaf '86 too often. You you see a lot of Donruss '86 up there, but very rarely do you see Leaf. At least I do. Uh, Tom Edens for the Twins, Kurt Wilkerson for the Rangers, Jim Traber for the Orioles, Carney Lansford for the A's. Now we're getting into the modern stuff here. They always uh, finish the box off with some modern cards. So Ian Desmond for the Rockies, Kevin Pillar for the Blue Jays, Victor Arano. Rookie card, 2018 tops for the Phillies. Jonathan LaCroix for the A's. And our last card is a Malik Smith. Very nice, Malik Smith. Isn't he? Um, that's his rookie card. I believe. Well, it doesn't say it doesn't have the rookie stamp on it. But yeah, he is a Seattle Mariner. I guess he was with Tampa Bay the year before. Anyway, very nice uh, Mariners card there, Donald. Hey, Chuck's in the house. I'm so glad you're here, Chuck, because I do have something I'm going to open up later. Chuck, does that look familiar? Does that handwriting look familiar? I'm no fingerprint analysis guy, but uh, I'd say that's probably written by Chuck. So that's going to be fun. All right, so we finished off that first box of Fairfield, but... We do have a hit. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'm so glad you're here, Chuck. Uh, hell. Oh, I met. I bet the the gift shop has got to be to die for. That would be fun. I, you could probably spend all day in the gift shop, just browsing around and looking through things. All right, guys. Here's the hit out of the first Fairfield box. It is an auto. I did see blue ink, so I, I'm I'm going to give that much away. But I don't know who it is or what team or anything. So here we go. See if you guys can maybe start guessing. It's a prospect card. Well, I can see the last name, and it doesn't sound familiar. Oh, it's number two. You guys see the number there? 617 out of 795. Matt Koch. Matt Koch of New York Yankees. Don't know much about this guy. This came from a 2012 Panini set. But I must say, it's, it's an on-card. It's not a sticker. That is a pretty, pretty autograph. It kind of like grows. It starts out small and just sort of tapers up. Very, very nice card. Let me get that uh, sleeved up here. Back 
fact, I'll throw him in the top order too. There we go. That is a that it's even got some like rainbow refractor stuff going on too. Very cool. All right, let me put him on a stand. Right there. All right. Sports Did he really? Sportsline? Oh, I'm embarrassed to say I didn't know that, guys. Like I said, I just started watching baseball this last season. So he's a current D-back, huh? Current D-back, wow. I got to look him up then. Do some research on that guy, wow. That's cool. Well, since he's a D-back, got to ring the bell. All right, well, um, now it kind of makes the second box not quite as exciting. But uh, you never know. Maybe there's two hits in a row. But that's cool finding out that he's a, he's a D-back. His ERA is 488. Okay, so it's kind of high. But uh, nonetheless, and I've always said an auto is an auto, you know. He's a, he's a professional ball player, which means he's good. He may not be the best, but he's better than you or me. So we can't complain. And this one's dated the same date. Focus. December 23rd. There we go. All right. And our center pack is going to be... It is a leaf. It's leaf 92. I said 91 or 92. But then again, I wouldn't have had a clue what uh, what series. So it's series two. So we'll we'll get to that at the midway point. Okay. Um, everyone saying hi. Hey, Peds, how you doing? Thanks for jumping in. Not a bad box. That box we pulled, uh, obviously this on-card auto for Matt Koch for the, I guess, D-backs now. We also pulled a rookie Trevor Hoffman card. That That is just phenomenal. And um, yeah, way in the back there is a Mike Myers card. Of course, Mike Myers is amongst our YouTube community. So... I definitely want to follow up with him on that card. Okay, so here we go with box number two. Let me see. I don't see anything thick per se. But that wasn't a thick card either, so that's not important. All right, here we go. Trevor Story, Allen and Ginter, 2019. Dickie Thon with the Phillies. Willie McGee. For the Giants, we got Gene Nilsson for the A's, Frank Wills for the Toronto Blue Jays, Bill Landrum for the Pirates, Kevin Apier for the Royals. Okay, we got uh, Bob Hamelin for uh, the Royals, our prospects card, Lloyd Mosby for the Tigers, Eric Gunderson for the Giants. Steve Boros, manager for the Padres. Sat that one in my Padres stack. Um, Reggie Jefferson for the Indians on Pinnacle. We got Doug Jones on the Indians. Jeff Shaw for the Indians. Wave of the Future, Brandon McCarthy. This is a different kind of card. Uh, it's a Flare Flare because it says Flare, but it says Flare Showcase. You guys ever seen a Flare Showcase card? Six foot seven. Wow, that guy's tall. Hmm. This came out of a 2006 Flare product. That's pretty cool. 
All right, guys, just warning you, there is some 91 Fleer coming up here. I'll let you know when it passes. Uh, Terry Steinbach for the Athletics. Matt Noakes, there we go. We got a Matt Noakes, Donald. We got the Matt Noakes. And we got uh, Gary Thurman for the Royals. Okay, 91 Fleers passed. Uh, Julio Franco for the Rangers. Oh, this is a very... Uh, catchy card Darren Oliver uh, Pinnacle 97 that's a wild card there uh, Greg Gagne for the Twins uh, Scott Geralt's for the Giants that's a Ranger Je Jeffrey Burroughs Jeffrey Burroughs. Okay. Uh, Randy St. Clair for the Blue Jays. Kirk McCaskill for the Angels. There's the Seattle Mariner. We've got uh, Russ Swan. Atlee Hamaker for the Giants. Willie Wilson for the A's. Brian Clutterbuck. Brian Clutterbuck for the Brewers. I remember Frank uh, from Frank's Card Corner. He did a video once. He said he was going to do a follow-up. I don't know if he's still working on it or not, but he did uh, some of the funniest names in baseball. And I think this would be a contender. I apologize, Mr. Clutterbuck, if you're watching. But uh, Rob Deere. Jeff Dedman for the Braves. Mark Clear for the Brewers. Uh, who's here? Uh, Luis Soho for the Angels. Ken Griffey Sr. with the Braves. Very nice old Ken Griffey Sr. card. Oh, here's an old throwback. John Lowenstein for the Orioles on a 1980 card. Pretty cool. Mike Aldrete for the Expos. Greg Olson. For the Orioles, Chris James for the Padres. I'll put that one in my Padres pile. Oh, is that right, Chuck? Thanks for letting me know. Adley, I've heard of Adley Hamaker. I don't know anything about him, but now I do know something about him, and it's a good thing. That's awesome. Uh, Kenny Rogers for the Tigers. Tom Browning for the Reds, Jeff Parrott for the Phillies, Mel Hall for the Indians, there's a Brad Salmon on an old 52 uh, Tops throwback rookie card, and Jim Clancy for the Blue Jays. There you go, Bobby. Chris Archer for the Rays, all-star game card. It's got the little embossed stamp right down there. Chris Archer. Oh, that's cool, Chuck. Oh, SSP just said the same thing. Yeah, but it is. It, that is really cool. That's a very unique uh, PC, Chuck. Very interesting collection. I've never thought about collecting in that assortment before. Uh, Barry Lyons for the Mets. Justin Thomas, Topps Gallery. What year is this gallery? Permanent collection. This is out of 98. Wow, 98 gallery. Uh, here we go, more modern. We got Robinson Cano with the Seattle Mariners. Another all-star game card. Uh, Nate Robertson for the Tigers. And Giants Candy Maldonado. And an OPG card for Juan Bell with the Orioles. So that's half of that box down. Half to go after we open up our... Uh, half, well, this is our halftime show here. Or we'll call it our seventh inning stretch pack. That's what I'll... You know, that's what I'll call it. These are my seventh inning stretch packs. Uh, 
Go race! <laughs> Uh, here we go. Uh, Ellis Burks, Red Sox. Got uh, Ryan Bowen for the Astros. Manuel Lee. I thought it said Lease, but it's just SS for shortstop. But it's Manuel Lee, shortstop. Uh, Mike Stanton. No, Stanton, I'm sorry. Mike Stanton with the Braves. Tom Foley with the Expos. Jim Eisenreich for the Royals. Omar Vizquel for the Seattle Mariners. Franklin Stubbs for the Brewers. Benito Santiago. I do not have this card in my PC for him. That's cool. That's a good pull. i got to set that one aside for sure. Uh, Glenn Davis for the Orioles. Ramon Martinez. Uh, what's Javier saying? Not Giancarlo? I'm not sure what he's referring to. Hmm. Uh, Daryl Lewis for the Giants. Ron Darling for the A's. Wes Chamberlain for the Phillies. And our last card is a Keith Miller for the Royals. So the hit for me, personally, would have been that Benito Santiago card. That's pretty cool. All right, so I don't think we're going to get a hit in this box because typically your hits come in the first half of the box, and we've already opened that and uh, didn't get one. But that's okay because we already got this one, which more than makes up for it. Plus, we've still got a hot corner box coming, and you're guaranteed two hits. So here we go. <clears throat> Donruss, 91. Tom Edens for the Brewers. We've got Alvin Davis for the Mariners. Uh, Bo Diaz, catcher for the Reds. Matt Harvey for the Mets. Nick Blackburn for the Twins. Paul Conerco for the White Sox. Mark Quinn for the Royals. Lance McCullers for the Tigers. Ron Oster for the Reds. Uh, Paul Assenmacher for the Cubs. John Moses for the Mariners. Oh, Frank Thomas, the franchise card. Boom. That's cool. The Big Hurt. That, that's a pretty cool card. That's kind of like getting hit. Got Scott Fletcher for the White Sox. Uh, Jimmy Key for the Yankees. Kirby Puckett, home field advantage card for the Twins. There's the Hall of Famer. All right, I, I need to go back and apparently pull a card. Do I need to pull that Stanton or Giancarlo? I don't remember where it was. How far back was it? Was it in the first half of the box? Apparently so. There's a Stanton. Is that the one you guys are talking about? The Stanton? Okay, no. Hobby says no, so I'm going to keep going. Looking for another Stanton. Or Giancarlo. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm looking for here, guys. No, you didn't have to look for him. 
Oh, okay. Good, because I'm not finding them. <laughs> oh, it's easy to get lost and confused when you're not staring at the chat the entire time. With Jonathan's box, I finished my first 2020 subset. That's awesome. Yeah, you guys really need to go check out that box. The That was the... What is it? The military has the Moab, the mother of all bombs. Well, Jonathan sent Donald the the Moab, the mother of all boxes. That thing was awesome. Uh, yes, that was the one he was just saying. It wasn't Giancarlo, that it was a different Stanton. Okay. Oh, okay, and it was the Reese Hoskins set. Cool. Okay. Giancarlo Stanton name was Mike Stanton, but not that Mike Stanton. Awesome. All right. Whew, got through that little mystery. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, I see Reggie Jackson, but that ain't Reggie Jackson. But then I see Will Clark, and I'm like, okay, that makes sense. It's got two names on there. Will Clark and Reggie Jackson. Must be a subset. Yeah, Reggie Jackson's a subset. There's a Terry Steinbach for the A's. We got Charlie Hayes for the Rockies. Hey, we haven't got our duplicate card yet. I just thought about that. Uh, Joe Oliver for the Reds. Mike Messina for the Orioles. Pete O'Brien. Jim Corsi. Jeff Juden, Tommy Green, rookie card for the Braves, Randy Tomlin for the Pirates, Jim Eisenreich, I think we, did I just pull one of those, or no, that sounds familiar, well maybe not, no it just looks familiar. Oh it looked kind of like the Joe Oliver card but it's not. All right. Disregard. Uh, John Ramos. Well, that is the front of the card. What kind of card is this? That's the best card ever made right there. That's a 1990 best card company. Um, kind of a... Kind of a homemade feel product to it, really. John Ramos. The Albany Yankees. West Chamberlain. Now, why does that sound familiar? I don't know. Uh, there's Drabeck. Mickey Morandini for the Phillies. There's Danny Jackson for the Reds. Oh, okay, it's an upper deck, the uh, for, uh, Reggie Jackson card. Yeah, I could tell it was some sort of subset insert type thing. All right, Mike Young for the Orioles. Vern Rule for the Angels. Steve Balboni for the Royals. Milt Thompson for the Phillies. Rene Gonzalez. David Segge for the Orioles. There's a Eddie... Tan Bensi for the Reds. Jorge Pedre uh, for Memphis. I don't know who they are, but is it the Memphis Chicks? I guess that's the name of their team. Hmm. Uh, Bob Horner for the Cardinals. Pro Cards, Randy Hennis. Tucson Toros, that is cool. That is really cool. You guys have probably hear, heard me talking more recently in the last couple of weeks with the 2020 that the Astros have a player named Toro on it. And I just love that card because growing up, I would go to Tucson as a kid and watch the Tucson Toros play back in the 80s. And I just thought it was really cool that there's a now an Astro with the last name of Toro. And there it is. There's a Tucson Toro card. 
That is cool. That oh yeah, sports line, you'd appreciate that, huh? There you go. What does it say about him? Uh Pacific Coast League, six six, tall guy. Uh lives in San Diego. But uh yeah. Nineteen ninety he was in Tucson. And then he went to Houston. There it is. Oh, sorry. Class AAA affiliate of the Houston Astros, the Tucson Toros. Now, I got to think about the name of the... Oh, High Corbett. Sportsline, is that the name of the field? High Corbett? That name's kind of coming to my mind. High Corbett. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Yeah, correct. All right, good. I haven't lost that many brain cells over the years, apparently. Uh, Dave Palmer. Mark Willoughby. For, not Pittsburgh, but the Pittsfield. There are a lot of old, like, odd company cards here. The Star Company. Um, Mo Sanford for the Reds. Butch Henry for the Astros. Okay, here's our modern cards. Uh, Ian Desmond. I think we pulled him in the last batch, didn't we? We did. Check this out. <laughs> that was in the other box we opened earlier. Ian Desmond. All right, so it's kind of a duplicate, sort of. Uh, Joe Oliver. Fleer 90. Ken Caminetti. With the Astros, Felix Jose with the Cardinals, and a J.P. Crawford for the Mariners. Very cool. So that was a fun box. Wasn't full of great hits uh, like we would like to see, but still fun because we got some interesting cards. Uh, Sportsline and I got to reminisce a little bit about the... What do I do with that Toros card? I want to keep that out. I don't want to lose it in here. There it is. I'm going to sleeve that up later, keep it for a little memento. All righty. Whoops, and then I knock them over. That didn't take long. All right, I'm going to scoot some of this stuff out of the way. And we got that hot, hot corner box we're going to crack open before we get into our mail call. Okay. All right. Hope I didn't miss too much here. No, looks like we're uh, we're all caught up to speed. All right, so we're about an, a little over an hour into this uh, stream. We finished with our Fairfields. I'm just trying to gauge my uh, for future videos. It looks like maybe 30 minutes per box or so. So well, that's that's kind of a little thing I'll remember. Uh, so here we go, hot corner box. Word to the wise, any Fairfield product you purchase, always, always, always open it from the bottom. Life is so much easier when you do it this way. Trust me. All right, let's see what we got. Now, I got to be careful. I don't want to get see the hits yet. So, okay, there's... Okay, I'm trying to keep the, hit, the hits in the box. One was trying to slide out on me there. This looks like it's going to be maybe a series... 2 2018 it is I think I'm gonna hold on to this one yeah I may not open that today because I'm, I'm kind of collecting these packs but we'll see uh, what else do we get uh, 2019 series 1 fat pack yep there we go and uh, ooh, and Alan and Ginter Hey, Bobby, does this look familiar? I'm going to hold this up one second. If you guys remember, before I got an official Bobby Catalano card, <clears throat> I had to make one up on my own, so I took a Gypsy Queen pack, and I dubbed her name on top of where it says six trading cards. So now it says Bobby Catalano, because she is our resident Gypsy Queen. So there you go. Now with this, I can make another 
Because right now this is a one of one. Maybe I should just leave it one of one. I don't know. <laughs> kind of a fun thing. All right. What else was in here? Uh, one more pack. It is the infamous Pinnacle 2013. They're, they must have made like 10 billion of these packs because this has been showing up in almost every hot corner box I've seen. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that, Bobby. Absolutely not. No. Because you do not look like Shohei Otani by any stretch of the imagination. So, but I, pre I appreciate the compliment on it, but I like your card better. And the Prime Pack. Yes, Prime Packs, Pinnacle. And I think I saw Eric... Jabs open. He had like a show the other day where he had three. He was like picking the worst boxes you could buy from Walmart. It was like twelve packs in a box and gems of the game box and some other silly little. And they they were all nothing but old packs in there and they all had this in there too. So the hits are here. I'm going to let's see if I can cover them up. Oh, one of them is a. I can kind of see the edge. I think it's a die cut, actually. So, yes, interesting. All right, so, well, that die cut's going to mess. I'm going to have to lay it down on its side. There's two hits right back in there. So here we go. We've got 2019 Series 1, which is the hobby pack, by the way. Oh, yeah, it's going to be this pinnacle. Ah, that's unfortunate. I was really hoping one of these other ones would be a hobby. Okay, I'm gonna set this. I've got a little stash of the 2019 series two. We're gonna, I'm gonna open those on a later date, sometime in the future, where we just focus on that series. So here we have 19 series one. I'm gonna open this one first, followed by the Gypsy Queen, and then the Pinnacle because that is our hoppy pack. But I'm not too anxious to see what's in it, unfortunately. All right, here we go. And just because these are not hobby packs doesn't mean they're not going to have hits in them. For example, you guys see it? I think we got a hit. Or there's a silly dud. But there is... Nope, there's color on it, guys. There's a thick card in here. There is a thick card in here. So, just a run-of-the-mill, average, non-hobby box, fat pack, 34-card pack that you could get at Walmart for dirt cheap. We've got a, a thick card. Let me grab an insert. Okay. That was like brain surgery. I'm trying to get that in and not disrupt it. All right, so there's our stash of hits back there. Uh, no duds in top one. Okay, and I did, hobbyist, I did, I kind of looked on the corner just to see if I saw some color, and I did. So there is color around the border. But which one is, which set has all those blanks in there? I don't recall off the top of my head. Hmm. I can't call. Uh, lots of those Series 2 fat packs. That are, oh, Kendall, you, if they're on clearance, you may want to scrounge them up. Upper deck did. No, but more recently. Like, I've been seeing... A, uh, I think Jonathan pulled a bunch. Ethan's pulled a bunch of duds lately. Like, mo more modern stuff. I don't remember, though. All right, here we go. Kyle Schwarber. Mitch Moreland. Red Sox. Mark Trumbo for the Orioles. Shoei Otani. No. Uh, okay, it doesn't have the rookie card stamp. 
So, but that is the nice the gold cup card. I'll set that one aside. Uh, Chris Bryant, that's a nice card there. Uh, Billy Hamilton. I forget what's the ba the base is going to be nine ten. Just to remember that. Uh, here's a Cole Stewart rookie card. Uh, Colby Allard rookie card for the Braves. That's a nice one. Set that one aside. Uh, Jock Peterson for the Dodgers. Mookie Betts with the L.A. Dodgers. I mean Boston Red Sox. <laughs> the joke uh, we got Logan Morrison for the twins we got Alex Colome for the Mariners I think it's with the White Sox this year if I'm not mistaken Aroldis Garcia oh Kindles Panini Donruss okay that that may sound more right because I've seen some recent stuff Kindle with that in it all right uh, Chicago Cubs uh, Stadium Wrigley Field card. Pittsburgh. Oh, we got an 84 insert. Here, we'll save that one for the end of there. Um, Harrison Bader. Gold Cup card. Kirby Yates for the San Diego Padres. Put that in my Padres stash. Uh, Chris Davis for the A's. Chris Iannetta for the Rockies. Adam Eaton for the Nationals. Felipe Vasquez for the Pirates. Orlando Arcia for the Brewers. Sonny Gray for the Yankees. Jose Urena for the Marlins. Ryan Zimmerman for the Nationals. Justin Verlander for the Astros. Elvis Andres. It'd be cool if we could get Ethan to sign one of these cards. Because he's uh he does Elvis singing. Uh not the Jimenez I would have liked to pull, but a Jimenez nonetheless. That's a Joe Jimenez for the Tigers. Jose Martinez for the Cardinals. Didi Gregorius for the Yankees. Seriously? Oh no. I <laughs> I forgot I moved it to the back. I was going to say, did we really get two uh, PNC Park cards? But I remember now I moved it to the back to cover up the uh, the 84 insert. So the 84 card is going to be an Indian. It is Jose Ramirez. Jose Ramirez. I don't know if I've got this card. Let me see if I've got this one in my collection. Uh, T8466. I've got, actually, I've got my... Uh, Checklist right here. Jose Ramirez. I do have this one, so this is a duplicate. But still, very nice card. Alrighty. So one pack down. Now we got to our Gypsy Queen pack. And apparently my the chat on my phone has stopped, but I've still got the chat on the computer. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we get out of it. Oh, man, I just ripped it. I was planning on saving it, and I forgot, and I just sort of tore it apart. Oh, well, we'll have to get another one. For now, Bobby, you still, that's a one of one. There's no use in this pack, sorry. That just makes it all the more special, though. Okay, Trey Turner with the Nationals. Ryan Baruki for the Blue Jays. Dakota Hudson rookie card for the Cardinals. And special insert here of Ozzy Albies. Very nice card. It's got the rounded corners, kind of like a, a playing card. Oh, tear, the Tear to the Diamond card. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen one of these actually in person. That's a nice card right there. Ozzy Albies. Um, and we got Jacob Junis for the Royals. And our last card here is a Brandon Lowe. Or Lau. I don't remember. There's, there's Brandon and Nate. I don't remember which is Lowe and which is Lau. But there we go. 
That Ozzy Albies card is pretty cool. <clears throat> Gypsy Queen, cool. Yep, go Jays. <laughs> All right, so here's our hobby pack. Although we we got a hit out of a standard pack, so whether we pull a hit out of this one or not now, it's kind of irrelevant. I'd still like to. Um, nothing thick. Ooh, there's like an acetate card in the middle, guys. There is kind of a hit in there. I don't know if it's gonna be an auto or not, but there's a, there's a, it looks like an acetate card. Uh, Chris Sale for the Chicago White Sox. Norichika Aoki. Norichika Aoki, I think. <laughs> Followed by Hyun Jin Ru. These names, I tell you. And when I get to that hit, I'm going to move it to the back as well. So Hien Jin Ru, rookie card for the Dodgers. Juris Familia for the New York is it Mets or Yankees? I don't know. Oh, okay. All right, so I'll, I'm going to slide this one to the back. Okay, very nice Ricky Henderson card actually there. Put that one in my hits pile. Ryan Zimmerman for the Nationals. Yeah, I am hobbyist. I'm getting hits left and right. But we unfortunately, we don't know what they are yet. Well, so far we know what that hit is, but we've got two more waiting for us. Three more actually over there. Plus there's something here. So Ryan Zimmerman... Jason Kubel. Oh, there's that jury's familiar. Okay, so here we go. You guys kind of see the card there. It's uh, acetate. You can see my finger through the back. Oh, you can see the name right off the bat. So the surprise is gone. It's going to be... Is that RR or AA Dickey for Toronto? It's going to be a Blue Jay. And it's not an auto or anything. It's just the acetate card. But that is really unique. It is clear. So clear, in fact, I need to sleep it up before it gets any smudge marks. Alex would appreciate this one. There we go. That's almost a transparent card. Almost all the whole way through. It's a 2013 card. Oh, duh. Uh... I'm trying to f figure out if that's an R or an A. Or maybe it's R-A Dickey. If, if it'll focus, maybe you guys can help me. I think it's an R and an A. But not 100% certain on that. R-A. Chuck says, okay, thanks for confirming that, bud. Yeah, it's just that it's really hard. They, that slant, it just kind of made it hard to read. Yeah, thanks, SSP. Jay Smith. Okay, you guys are all on top of that. So that's why I love having you guys in here. You're like my, uh, you're like Siri. I just say, Siri, what is that? And then the answers start coming. That's that's cool. All right, guys, so here's kind of the hits. We've got the, the Ozzy Albies card. We've got the Jose Ramirez 84 Kobe Allard rookie card. Chris Bryant card's kind of nice, and then the nice Gold Cup Otani card. So here we go. Now this hit here came out of our 2019 Series 1 Fat Pack, and it's a thick one. So here we go. Oh, okay, it's going to be a horizontal, I think. Oh, I saw game used something. So it's going to be a relic, but now I need, here, let me borrow, this is an old company store card, <laughs> well, I'll use this because it's actually 
facing the other way. So here we go. I'm not sure. Oh, no, that is the back. I'm confused. Here, we'll just... Yep, there's the relic. It's a white sock. Any guesses? It's a white sock. Anybody know the face? Yoan Mokata. Yoan Mokata. Game used memorabilia. See if I got like a little red speck in there. I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> yeah, it's it's stuck. Hey, Lefty Luke's in the house, and boom, he got it right off the bat. It is Moncada. Let me see if I got a... I'm going to have to pull out a little bit bigger sleeve, I think, for that one. You know, it's not every day you pull uh, hits out of your common, everyday uh, Walmart packs. That's pretty cool. You know what, that might actually just fit in a standard one. Let me try a standard sleeve. Oh yeah. There we go. All right. So. That takes care of that hit. Now we still got these two kits that came out of the box itself. Um, let's see if I can slip a, another spacer in there. Okay. I think they're both die cut. They are, guys. Both of these cards are going to be die cut. I can just I can feel the the structure on the back. So these are the two hits that came out of our hot. Here I forgot to stand it up. This is our hot corner box. These are the two hits here. So here's hit number one. And I think well, that's backwards. Why do I always do this? No, nope, that's the back. <laughs> okay. I'm making it more difficult than it needs to be. All right. Card number 12. It's a black and white front, which is interesting. Chris Stratton. Oh, wait, no, that is the back. I had it the other way. So it is. Boom! That is beautiful. Look at that, guys. Numbered out of 50. 33 out of 50. Wow. Numbered out of 50. Uh, this is a 2012 product. That is cool. Number to 50, Chris Stratton. That is cool. All right. Stratton is uh, pretty good. That's good to hear. Says he's with the Giants. I don't know if he's still with the Giants, but uh, back in uh, 2012 he was. Uh, Bobby says, very nice. It was very nice. All right. <clears throat> so here's our other die cut hit. And that, okay, this one is backwards. I saw like a copyright. And again, another die cut card. I don't know what's up with these die cuts, but this is really cool. It's already got some really cool refractor color going on there. 2014, it says. I'm trying to bump the camera. See if you guys can just recognize the face. And it's it's also numbered to 50, guys. Without even seeing who it is yet, look at the numbering. 40 out of 50. Two super low number cards.
And it's a prospect card. I don't recognize the face. Anybody? Lefty saying Bauer. Could it be? On card. No. Oh, it's a, well, it's a Padre. I did not expect that. It's a Mitch Watrous. Watrous? For San Diego. I've never heard of him, to be honest with you. Would anybody have ever guessed Watrous? In a million years, would anyone have come up with that name? Honestly. Mitch Watrous. This is out of uh, 2014. <laughs> that is really cool. That is a beautiful card. Mitch Watrous. Huh. There you go. That was your second guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Oh, yeah, I got to ring the bell because those are beautiful cards. Thanks, Jay. It's Mix. Alex for reminding me to ring the bell. All right, let me get these empty boxes out of the way. And... We got some mail to open up, guys. And then after the mail, if y'all are still up for it, I may crack into my uh, tin. I've got, I've st still got my tin lurking back here. I'd like to crack that open if I get time for it. Um, let me set these aside. All right, I'm going to move these things. Uh, let's see. I don't want to have a disaster, so I'm just going to do it one at a time here. In case you all missed it. Hey, Lefty Luke. This is an appropriate front. Because you're Lefty, right? You're Lefty. Have you ever heard of Phil Leftwich? He's a right-hander, though, but his left name is Left. His last name is Leftwich. Yeah, I pulled seven of them. Out of a Fairfield box. We can call you uh, Left Witch Luke. Lefty Witch Luke. I need to get some more stands. I'm running out of stands here. here I'll set that one there. Okay, no offense, Mr. Hennis, but, um, well, the Hoffman card is nice, so... There. That'll work. That's cool. I don't know him. Yeah, that name is super cool. Left Witch. Yep. All right. Mail call. Mail call. Let's see. The first... Uh, what do I want to do? I'll go ahead and do my eBay purchase first. Since to me there's no surprise in here. Whereas the other three, I don't have a clue. Even though I know I should know, I just don't remember. But this was an eBay purchase. Now, before I show you this, I want to preface something to you. And I don't know if you all have been noticing in the background at all. But way back here, lurking in the background, has been one of my favorite Goldschmidt cards in my collection. <clears throat> You're like, well, that's a funny looking color card there. It is because this is the magenta version of a printing plate. This is a one of one Paul Goldschmidt printing plate from 2016 tops. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Kind of to preface this eBay purchase. Let's see how the seller packaged it. Okay, well, he used scotch tape. <laughs> um, not the worst. Nothing else in there, by the way. 
to get my knife out. Um, purchased, Kevin. I purchased it. I I could not be so lucky to pull that. There's no way I could uh, have that kind of luck. All right. So here's that's what I had in my collection. Now here's the newest addition to my collection. One of one, another Paul Goldschmidt 2016 Gypsy Queen card. And this is also, if I can get the tape off, I can actually show you the card from the front. But this is going to be, man, that tape is really tough. Guys, don't ever use scotch tape, please. I beg of you. <laughs> there it is. Kind of bland looking because it's a colorful card, so there's not a whole lot of black on it, but that's that there is a printing plate for Paul Goldschmidt. Um, Donald, if you end your stream. Okay, Donald, that sounds good. I've got time. PCing plates. Well, yeah, uh, you know, Kevin, if I PC'd plates, just plates, that would get very costly. But when you when you minimize it down to uh, one particular player like I'm kind of doing, um, it shouldn't be too bad. But yeah, that's that's kind of cool. So I've got a, a black and there's a magenta. Now, it would be really cool is if I could get two of the same with the different colors. That would be really, really unique. But uh, nonetheless, I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, I'm going to get it out of that silly scotch tape top loader and get that um, slabbed up kind of like I got this this screw case here I've got another one just like it I'll put that one in later so there we go good old screw down yep a little more permanent than the one touch magnetics okay moving on uh, I've got, let's do, I'm saying, I want to save a couple of these for the end. Now let's hit Eloy's up. Eloy Flores, he's a, known as Eloy the Goat, card breaks, and uh, i trying to remember if this was a sale, like individual card sale, or if I bought a break. I don't remember. Yes, it is, SSP. It's just irritating. You'll spend a good afternoon just peeling tape off of... Uh, I've gotten so complicated. I've gotten into where I've got little Q-tips with rubbing alcohol, and I'm trying to... Because if you use that goo-off, goo gooby gun, whatever it's called, it just ruins the plastic. So you got to use something a little less harsh, but it takes forever. Even I, super noob of collecting, don't use scotch tape. <laughs> yeah, it's... um. I guess if if no one's told you not to use it, you wouldn't know any better. But, but Bobby, yeah, uh, if you've ever experienced blue tape compared to scotch tape, it's a no-brainer. No-brainer. Yeah, I do, Kevin. I do get some uh, vib you know, shaking around inside of one touches. Not so much the little thicker cards; they tend to tend to st sit still. But those, your standard thirty-five point card tends to wobble around. All right. Okay, see now here, this guy knows what he's doing. Blue tape. Nothing else in there. Good old Eloy. I don't remember what's in here. I'm kind of thinking it's a sale. Now that I think about it. Not sure why you tape the bottom. See how much easier the blue tape is? And then, plus, you can reuse it. Can't do that with scotch tape. All right. 
Getting after it here. By the way, here's Goats Cards Breaks. Eloy Flores. Eloy the Goat Flores. It's got a pretty cool little uh, logo there. Alrighty. So right out of the gate here, I've got a Donruss Diamond Kings Cattell Marte rainbow foil looking card. Uh, Domingo Leba for Arizona. He's a prospect for the D-backs. Madison Bumgarner. That's cool. That's the first Arizona card I've seen with his name on it right there. Mad Bum as a D-back. That is cool. Extra cushioning. Okay. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. I must have bought these because this doesn't seem like it's a, a a team per se. So Vlad Jr. Dave Winfield. Hmm. I guess I bought it. Uh, Bo Bichette with the Blue Jays. Shout out to Alex. Anthony K. So I don't even I've never even heard of him, so why would I have I think this was a break. I think I got the I'm seriously, I think I got the D-backs. He ha okay, here's yep, it's coming back to me now. Here's the way his auctions work or his auctions, his breaks. You buy a team, you buy two teams, one of them you choose and the other one is randomized. I bought the Diamondbacks and then they randomized for my second team and I just by chance randomized the Blue Jays, which was a great, great uh, team to to land on. So that's what it was. So there's a, and they're all just sort of mixed together here. Anthony K with the uh, st stars are on the border. Eduardo Escobar, there you go. De La Pica for the D-backs. Josh Rojas, very, very nice. Cool. Okay, then you've got Cattell Marte and his nickname, The Pike which I don't quite understand the nickname. Uh, David Peralta. Uh, yep, Hyun Jin Ru with Toronto. Another Pike card. And there's the base Cattell. So see, it's the same same card, just name variation. Cattell Marte and the Pike. Everyone likes the bow card. <laughs> Uh, uh, Cattell Marte, very nice uh, blue border, blue parallel. Zach Gallon, rookie card. Vlad Jr., another Escobar, another Anthony K., another Domingo Leba, another Vlad Jr., Diamond Kings, another Bo Bichette, rated rookie card. That's not even sleeved up. <laughs> uh, Zach Gallon again. And then there's something in a top loader here. Got a lot of color going on here. Boom. Bo, 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 boom. Look at that, guys. Bo Bichette. You thought that earlier Bo Bichette card was nice. Look at that Bo Bichette. That's a bell. And I'm not even a... No offense, Alex, but I'm not like a Blue Jays fan. But look at that card. That's a boom, boom, boom. Yep. That is a sweet, sweet card right there. There's the back of it. Oh, his middle name is Joseph. Did not know that. Oh, okay. thought there was a smark on this card, but it's just plastic. Wow, um, that's, yeah, that's, that's pretty nice. Okay, so that's pack one. We've got the second baggie here. Tell you what, I'm just going to open up the top. He does a nice job of packing his cards, I will say that for him. Let's see if we can get away with not having to... Undo the bottom there. Okay, 
I'll move that to the back. Kevin says, Kevin, do you need my my mailing address for that bow? <laughs> uh, maybe you can sell it to me on your sale. Bo, who? I missed it. <laughs> oh, depending on who you're talking to, Bobby, those fighting words. Although this morning, I, um, Donald was talking about some players, and he mentioned Mickey Mantle, and I put, Mickey who? Never heard of him. So, little Bo Peep? Who are we talking about? Who's this Bo character? Boba Fett. Alrighty, uh, moving on. Uh, Kevin Biggio, another, that's a blue parallel. David Peralta, there's a Hianjin Ru with the stars on the border. Another base, Josh Rojas. There's another Pike for Marte. Uh, another David Peralta. There's the base, Kevin Biggio. The base, Cattell. There's a pretty cool one. Luke Weaver. Oh, this one's numbered. Numbered 8 out of 100. 8 out of 100. And it's got the... Uh, I don't know what the 100 is referring to, but it's got the 100 border on it. I don't know. Another Pike card. Another Rojas. Another David Peralta. Uh, now this is a different... Uh, I don't think he pulled these out of the uh, 2020 Donruss, to be honest with you. Uh, Bo Peep is from Toy Story. Uh, wow, Lefty Luke. It goes, it goes further back than that, buddy. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep. That goes back to the early part of the century, last century. Toy Story 4 wasn't awesome. I don't even think I saw Toy Story 3. I saw 1 and 2. And I kind of just lost track of it. I thought Toy Story 4 would be more sad. Is it supposed to be sad? Um, why do I have these older cards from 1977? Well, Steve Carlton, Carlton Fisk, Jim Palmer, Joe Morgan, Johnny Bench, Carl, Yer Carl Yastrzemski, Pete Rose, and Dave Winfield. Oh, you know what? I okay, I do remember buying these. These were a sale. It was like it was an auction. I remember. That's it's been a while. I love that Dave Winfield 1977 card. Very nice uh, hits there from the 77 series. All right. I like how he kind of squeezed him in the middle here. So then we're back to the 2020 Donruss. Kevin Biggio, Anthony K, Cattell Marte, uh, Fogo Power de la Pica, Eduardo Escobar, Kevin Biggio base, Vlad Jr. with the star border. Uh, wasn't the best. So three was sad. Why is, is that what we're going for now? Sadness? <laughs> oh, what have we got here? We got a hit. We, well, hit. It's a rookie. Oh, that's right. Autograph. Okay, here's the story, guys. I bought this card from him. I know nothing about the, the player other than his name. You guys see his name there? Hunter Renfro. Hunter Renfro is also a player for the Padres, but different spelling. And I do have a an autograph card from Hunter Renfro, the baseball. He's with the pot. Well, now he's with the Rays. <laughs> Shout out to Bobby there. We lost him for Tommy Pham. But I thought it'd be cool to display two Hunter Renfro cards side by side, both autographed, but two different people. That's kind of the story behind that one. And the last card I got is... If I can get my name off here. Alex Cintrone for the D-backs. 2005 Donruss 
autograph. It's a sticker autograph. And it's got number 10 on it. I guess that was his team, his player number. I'm not sure. But uh, very nice cards. Very, very nice cards. So I know a lot of you will argue that that Bichette's probably the nicest. And I'm not, I'm not going to argue with you. It is a beautiful card. Clemson. Oh, <laughs> okay. So I'm trying to figure out why uh, why Toy Story Four was supposed to be sad, but maybe I'll find out one of these days. All right, so that's it for Eloy, the goat. <laughs> but uh, very, very nice cards. Very, very nice cards. All right, thank you there, Eloy. All right, moving on. Okay, here we got... I'm dying to see what SSP sent me. I'm not going to wait any longer. Big old fat pack. Now, SSP, as we were talking earlier this morning in Donald's stream, I don't remember what this is. I don't remember if this was a sale or if this was the buy-in break. Was this... I don't know... Did I already open the mixture cards? I think I did. So I don't know. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't remember what these are. I'm going to turn them sideways so I don't know. I don't see yet what's because there's a lot in here. Oh, there's a bag of more cards. Okay, I think we got everything out. Okay, SSP, I got everything out of the bag. This was my sale from last Saturday. Okay, got it. All right. Um, there's a bunch of... Oh, okay, there's a, there's a spacer card there. Cool. All right. Okay, so he said this was from the sale. Oh, he's, okay, those are the extras. I wondered if they were, because they were top-loaded and whatnot, so cool. All right, so this is from SSP Sale he had last Saturday. I'm glad you're keeping track of this stuff, SSP, because I, I lose track. Um, wow. That is a thick card. I was like, is, that, is there more in there? But look at that. That is gorgeous. Look at the colors on that thing. Griffin Canning with the Angels rookie card. Wow, you could like put this on the ceiling of a disco and like play the music and just have a good old time. Oh, I don't have enough stands for all this stuff. Uh, here's a Babe Ruth on a Heritage or Heritage Gallery card. It's got the, the wood border around it. We don't need Eloy's ad anymore. Oh, did I miss the number? Oh, what am I doing? I saw the color and it jumped out at me. Uh, where's the number at? Oh, it is. Good call. Two. Wow, low number. Two out of 25. Two out of 25. Awesome. Oh, thank you, Lefty Luke. I appreciate that. <laughs> Donald says, I'm having a disco party. Wow. Um, yeah. If I could just mount this card, like hang a string from it, and have it hanging from overhead, have lights shining up on it, and dim the lights around, we could have a good old time. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Luke, for that uh, for that compliment. I appreciate that. All right, let's see. I've got a. Uh... Oh, I, I do remember this one. Randy Johnson franchise feats card. There's so many Randy Johnson cards with him in the Mariners, and I know Donald gets most of those cards, and I try to get the ones that have him in the D-backs uniform. So, both Donald and I both PC Randy Johnson in, in our own special way. So that's that's really cool. 
All right. Uh, here's a goal. Uh, Chrome, Tops Chrome, Luis Urias, rookie card. They traded him to, I forget where to, but unfortunately he's, we lost him from the Padres. But he's, a, he's an outstanding little player. Uh, Corey Seager. Illusions for the Dodgers. That's a nice looking card. Uh, Jeff Bagwell with the Astros. Uh, Vladimir Guerrero Sr., All Sport PPF, whatever uh, that's referring to. But uh, AKA Vladdy Daddy. In fact, there's another Vladdy Daddy. Cool. And a Dustin May rookie card. I don't know what it is about this kid. I, I really, I'm drawn toward him. Maybe it's the hair. I don't know. But uh, he's a character, that's for sure. That's nice. Uh, Chris Paddock, this guy, and I've said it, and I'll say it many times, he is a machine on the mound. An absolute machine. He's going to do wonderful things for the Padres this year. There's another one. Limit. That's a beautiful limited RC card there. Another one. That's That might even be prettier. Timeless Treasures. Now i got to check for numbers, because if I don't, SSP is going to remind me. Uh, Brewers, that's right. Thanks, Jose. Oh, that's right. It's the Bagwell rookie card. I wonder, I'm wonder. i trying to remember the significance. Why did I get that Bagwell card? It was his rookie. Good call. Thank you, Chuck. He had gray hair. Are those Vlad Sr. rookie cards? I don't think they were. But I've been wrong before. Uh, 96. You know, they might have been. I think they are. Based on the years. Wow. See, I, you guys are awesome. Absolutely awesome having you in the background. Um, oh, thanks. And then SSP confirmed it, but I hadn't gotten that far in the chat. Uh, Paddock is so underrated. Well, I don't, I, I don't know if he's underrated or just um, not known. Maybe underrated by statistics, but um, anyone who's seen him on the mound knows he's the real deal. He is the real deal. So, okay, is, is it numbered? No, not that one. Okay, is this one numbered? No, not that one. Okay. No worries. Oh, then we can, These are funny. All right. <clears throat> I got to tell the story, SSP. Okay, see these two cards right here? Frank Thomas, his rookie card from 90 tops, and then his 90 score first round draft pick. These two cards just were sent to me from SSP's house on the other side of the country. The funny thing is, two weeks ago, these cards were in my house, and I sent them to him. And I turned around and bought them right back. So there you go. Welcome home. Welcome home, Frankie. Hmm. Oh, look at that is a single card. Look at that the thickness of that. Pete Rose. Oh, it's a relic. That is a relic. I don't. Oh, my memory. I got a relic card. Didn't even know it. All right. Where's those sleeves at? I'm going to sleeve that one up. Before I forget. Oh, you gave me the rose. He had a fun trip. Yeah, back and forth. Oh, I got a free airplane ride out of the deal. That's for sure. I gave you... Oh, thank you, SSP. Yeah, because I don't particularly remember getting it. That's awesome. Thank you, brother. That's cool. That is really, really cool. Okay, moving on. Now, there's a spacer card here, and I wonder if it has something on the back of it. It does. I've got the two of two. That is so cool. 
First Peter 5.10. If anybody saw uh, Donald's stream this morning, he got the one of two. I got the two of two. Same scripture verse. Jonathan Clark, SSP. That is awesome. Thank you. You know, it's, it's funny how we put so much, um, I don't know, importance, I guess is the term, on materialistic things. <clears throat> Which, some, some things it's okay, because what I appreciate most about this is the sentiment. And I think Donald felt the same way about his. That's special. That might be the hit of the, the pack right there. Because there's something meaningful behind it. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Frank's in the house. Good to see Frank. I were you were you lurking in the background this whole time, Frank? I called you out earlier in the stream and I don't know if you heard it or not. But I definitely called you out. Let me see if I can find it. No, oh, I'm not going to be able to find it. Frank, I pulled a card with a name on it. And I know you do your thing with funny names. I'm not going to find it, I don't think. Well, I'll just tell you what it was. <clears throat> I wish I could find it. No, I need to get back to my SSP pack. I'm sorry to interrupt. Frank, I'll get back to that if I have time. I want to see what SSP sent. Okay, uh, we got a Thai France rated rookie card on Optic. Very, very nice. Another Thai France rookie card. Is that the same one? Looks like it. Okay, so two Thai Francis, number 58, number 58. Okay, we got a Mike Ostromsky. Oh, we got two Mike Ostromskys. We got three Mike Ostromskys. I'm learning how to say that name. Very, very cool. Thanks for that SSP. trying to think if there's anything different about these but they're all the same number um, oh man I'm sorry to hear that Frank amen Donald it is nice getting things from our friends and family in here Absolutely. Uh, you only get two in red ink. Well, I'm honored to have one of them. That's cool. Um, yeah, man, Frank, I'm sorry to hear about that. I hope I hope it's just asthma, if you catch my drift. Um, it's on your break table off to the left. I can see them. It's on your break table off to the left. I can see them. Oh, oh, they're talking about the left witch, Donald? That wasn't the one I was referring to. Although that's not a bad name either. Hey, Frank, I pulled these out of uh, Fairfield. One box had seven identical Phil left witch cards. Oh, there's the seventh one, yeah. So, if you're in the market for Phil Leftwich, give me a call. Um, what else I miss? Yes, thank you, SSP. I will definitely find a good home for him. Maybe my home. Hint left, yes. Uh, well, I'll just tell you, the name I was thinking about, I forget the guy's first name, but his last name was Clutterbuck. Have you ever heard of Mr. Clutterbuck? I, play, I think he was on the Brewers. But good old Mr. Clutterbuck. Okay, well, as as long as that's all it is, Frank, I'm happy about that, but I'm still saddened to hear you dealing with that still. Um, maybe not. 
Yeah, I was no, it's okay. I was looking for Clutterbuck. You've heard of Clutterbuck, obvious? Yes, Brian Clutterbuck. Okay, so you, everyone knows about him, but me. I just know he's got a funny name. Okay, so there's Yaz. Um, oh, we got a Kevin Biggio rookie card. Very cool. Uh, Fernando Tatis, very very cool. Bowman. And the chicken. Look at that, guys. Ba -ba. The San Diego chicken card. The infamous San Diego chicken card. That is so awesome. I grew up with the chicken. I know the chicken very well. That's cool. And this one's got a sticker on it of sorts. I'm not sure why it has a sticker on it, but it has a sticker on it. What is it? It is a 2009 Goodwin Champions by Upper Deck. Yellow stockings, white pants. Oh, it's a Padre. It's a Padre. Could it be the Padre? Could it be Mr. Padre? It is. Gwyn. Oh, man. Look at that. What is this card? I've never seen this card before. 2009 Goodwin Champions Preview. Oh, that is awesome. A classic sticker on it. That is really cool, SSP. Thank you. And I like how it says Gwyn. Oh, I thought it was of the Padres, but it's outfielder. Yeah, outfield for the Padres. I misunderstood the OF there. Wow, Jonathan. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, that's an understatement. I don't just love it. Clutterbuck. Wasn't that the dance Carlos taught Alice on the Honeymooners? <laughs> wow, you're going way, way back. Jackie Gleason days there, Frank. You're venturing into the Donald Blomdahl era. Now, okay, I'm just now I'm now I'm teasing Donald. We have fun with it. SSP, I I absolutely love that card. I've never seen it or heard of it. And I like I like where it says Gwyn outfielder Padres. I think it says Gwyn of of Padres. Gwyn of the Padres. I like that play on words there. Awesome, man. You guys are too cool. Ay, ay, ay. I'm not, no, that's going to topple over. I've made that mistake before. I have no more stands. Okay. Wow. And we're just getting started, guys. I still got a package from Chuck. Chuck, I hope you're still lurking. Chuck, I got your package here. And then after this, guys, um, it's, what time is it? Six o'clock? I've got time. If you all want, I'm going to crack open that uh, tin. Uh, before I end the stream at the at the end. And then Donald, first thing tomorrow morning, is going to open up his Mookie Betts tin. So that's kind of cool. We're going to have a back-to-back. -back. We can have a little contest, Donald. Who has the, the best pulls out of the same tin? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, j j j uh, j um, uh, um, uh, uh, just the cards, Donald, not you. <laughs> uh, that's funny. All right, Chuck. Is Chuck here? Did Chuck answer? Yep, still here. All right, Chuck. Been awaiting this one. All right, drum roll. Oh, wow. This is a grab bag. A grab bag of cards. All right, that's all of them. And hey, look at that, guys. <laughs> this is the day for one of one or uh, inserts. Look at this. I got a Chuck Dupre. Dupre, sorry. Chuck Dupre autographed card. Go USA. Amen, brother. USA. USA. Let me. Oh, it's got. Okay, let me read the back of it. Um. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna condense some of this, Chuck. I'm gonna. It says thank you for everything you do on YouTube. The devotion videos you put up have helped me a, a ton lately. 
Um, thanks for that uh, compliment, Chuck. And um, I'm glad that they're helping you out. They are. That's that's the whole point of it. And I'm gonna before I show your cards, Chuck. I want to mention something real quick. Before I started YouTube, guys, I was I was called into the ministry a little over two years ago, and I surrendered to the Lord and I surrendered to His service. And I said, okay, Lord, what would you have me to do? I want to spread the gospel. I need to get the word out to people. How do I do it? And I've, I've, you know, I'm familiar with YouTube. I've visited YouTube quite a bit. And then it, the Lord just gave me the idea, hey, YouTube would be a great platform to spread the message. So that was my intent. But I thought, you know, coming right out of the gate with a devotion video, when I don't know anything about YouTube, I don't have an audience, I know nothing about it, that's about the same time I stumbled upon Eric Jab's um, site, and I started watching baseball card videos, and I'm like, oh, this is cool. So I got into the cards, but that became a launching pad for my devotions. So it's like God still used me and used YouTube and used the baseball cards as a stepping stone to get to, to the devotion videos, ultimately. So... Um, that's the the background behind that. There's a lot more to the story, but that's that's the Cliff Notes version of it. But in a nutshell, all this was geared toward the final goal of having a ministry on YouTube to spread the gospel. That's what it's all about for me. And that's why I look at this card here that Jonathan sent me. Um, what a beautiful verse. I, I actually posted that scripture on Donald's channel earlier this morning. And what a powerful, powerful verse. And uh, I appreciate that. You just have no idea that, to me, this is what all this is about. And making friends and family on the YouTube channel, priceless. So, Chuck, go USA. I'll set that right up there next to SSPs. All right. Um, what have I missed? What have I missed? Uh, Frank, yeah, it, well, it, it didn't say, it say in the back. It is a, it's a relic of sorts. I guess it's a uniform piece. It doesn't actually say. But it's got to be a game. I mean, they're all, all relics are pretty much game used. Memorabilia. I'm going to make an assumption and say yes. Um... Uh, hobbyist. Yeah, in fact, SSP picked up some 2020 Donruss at his Walmart today as well. Bobby says, awesome. Um, Donald says, sounds good. I just want to find my last eight turkey cards for the set. Take care, everyone. Good night, Bobby. Thanks so much for coming in. You have a wonderful evening. Stay safe. Stay inside. And wash your hands, right? Isn't that what everyone's saying? Wash your hands. Uh, we need to do a YouTube Bible study. That would be awesome. Yeah, it would be. That's a possibility, Kevin. Uh, thanks, Bobby. Have a wonderful evening. The scripture is uplifting, absolutely. Or someone does. No, I mean, that's something that, um, you know, what Donald and I are doing are just, again, they're stepping stones. Stepping stones. And then it's kind of cool that when this whole virus outbreak started, my pastor came to me and said, is there any way we can do our sermons digitally? <laughs> and I said, well, yeah, as a matter of fact, I know a little bit about YouTube now because of all the the time spent in these channels. So I was able to upload our, our sermons. Um, yes, laughter. Laughter is the best medicine, Frank. But don't laugh if you got asthma, brother. That scares me. <laughs> that scares me. Okay, Chuck, I'm dying to see what you sent me. So here we go. Getting after it. We've got up to bat from San Diego, San Diego rookie year. Well, this is his second year, actually. But he hadn't played much last year, so it's kind of like a rookie. El Nino, A.K. Fernando Tatis Jr., there he is. I like that name variation, El Nino. You guys remember the, sto the storm El Nino years and you're like 20 years ago? And uh, Chris Farley on Saturday Night Live did a skit where he dressed up in a tutu and he spun in circles and said, look at me, I'm El Nino. And for those of you who don't know what El Nino is, it's Spanish for the Nino. That always cracks me up. Oh, we got a whole stack of cards here. Starting with Tony Gwynn. Mr. Padre. Tony Gwynn. All right. 
cool. And Adrian Morejon, rated rookie. Kid's pretty good, too. I saw him pitching in spring training a little bit. Trent Grisham, saw him play outfield a little bit. Cool. Chris Paddock, like I said earlier, guys, this guy is a machine. I'm sorry, I'm way, way too high. I apologize. Um, were you guys telling, yelling at me, probably? Um, yeah, don't laugh too much, Donald, or uh, Frank. Future stars for Chris Paddock. Uh, there he is, El Nino. That's a cool action shot with his little chain swinging around his neck. Action shot there. Uh, Machado. Good old Manny Machado. I do have, I got quite a few of his um, Orioles cards too. But not a whole lot of Padres cards yet. There's Eric Lauer. 2019. Fran Mill Reyes, Gypsy Queen. Joey Lacassi. It's, like it's kind of like Chuck knows who I collect, you know? All these Padre cards. Joey Lacassi. Doris Valdez. Bowman Platinum. Oh, that's a nice one. Luis Urias. Renowned rookie card. That's cool. I love that rainbow background. Mm. Okay. Well, I won't mess with that right now. All right. <clears throat> oh, another El Nino. So here was the first El Nino. Then we've got the blue parallel. That's cool. Side by side. That's really cool. No way. Dude, oh my goodness. Guys, look at this. Anthony Gwynn with the little eyeball emojis, but it's numbered to 25. Look at that. 20 to 25. Chuck, where do you get this stuff from, man? This is this is phenomenal. Wow. I mean, who just gets that? That is awesome. That is that's too cool. He he got it. Chuck says got. <laughs> got. Hey, Kevin Lightcap, nice to meet you. Welcome to the craziness. So you actually pulled that. That is I was I was I didn't know if I should ask you if you bought it or if you pulled it. But the fact that you pulled it makes it even like I don't know, like fortuitous. If that makes sense. But uh yeah, Kevin Lightcap, welcome. Join the ranks. So you're you're the third Kevin in this chat right now. That's cool. That is really cool. Um, all right. So here we've got more cards to go through. Okay, another Chris Paddock Future Stars card. Tommy Pham. Good thing uh, Bobby left earlier. She would have been crying if she saw that now with his name next to the San Diego emblem. Eric Cosmer. Very cool. Kirby Yates. There he is, Chris Paddock with the Donruss. There's Manny being Manny. You know, for all the, the ribbing I give Manny, I'll be honest with you guys, <clears throat> I'm starting to kind of come around on the guy. Um, I've seen some more recent interviews with him, and he's still he's still big-headed. Don't get me wrong. He's still a little egotistical for my taste, but he's toned it a lot lately, and I, I admire him for that, and maybe he's just getting older and maturing. So I actually did buy a Machado card from Ethan the other day in one of his sales, which kind of surprised everybody. And I did not burn it in a fire like I jokingly said I would. So I don't know. Maybe there's, there's hope yet for Mr. Machado on my Christmas card list. There's a couple of them. There's old Hunter Renfro. There's Bobby's new team, uh, team player. And Joey Lacassi. Joey Lacassi for the Padres. Saw him pitch in spring training as well. Good arm. Padres are going to be stout this year. Like, really, really stout. So. Ah, uh, here's last card of the... Ooh. Oh, another number one. Oh, my goodness. Where's that other one I pulled? 
Look at that, guys. Two Gwyns. This one's Anthony. This one's Tony. But this one is also numbered. This one's numbered out of 218. 176 out of 218. Uh, chrome border, or like foil border. Rainbow foil. Wow. Don't lose your values. No, SSP. <laughs> Thanks for that. I, I definitely don't plan on doing that anytime, ever. I was going to say every anytime soon, but ever. Uh, yeah, it is nice, Jay's Mix. Thank you. Wow, you guys are awesome. This community is awesome. You know, throughout throughout life's journeys, we have friends that, that kind of come and go in our life. Oh, oh, you're talking about Machado. Don't lose your values. Well, SSP. Okay, very good point. We judge people, and Christians, unfortunately, are some of the worst, um, guilty people that judge. Now, judging to a, a point is important. If you don't judge, then you may end up dead sometime. But. <laughs> You have to judge to a point, but when it comes to people's hearts, Christians tend to hold people to a standard that's almost unrealistic sometimes. And I'm learning to get over that. And I don't tend to acknowledge people when they change. Once I don't like somebody, I never like them. But people can change. When people get their hearts right, their persona changes, their whole lifestyle changes. And I think Machado is, I'm not sold on him yet, but there's possibility. There's there's a chance for him. They're, they're hip, hype Christians. Oh, hypo-Christians, okay. Um, I've never heard that term, hypo-Christian. Oh, people who judge? Well, you know, okay, the whole word judge, it's kind of a broad term. For example... I, let's say I've got a teenage daughter at home, 16, 17-year-old daughter, and she's going out on a date, and I've never met the boy. The boy comes to the door, knocks on the door, I open the door, and he looks at me and says, yo, dude, where's your daughter? And he's got ripped up clothes, a bandana, a tattoo of a swastika on his forehead, and Lord knows what else may he may be doing. Maybe he's got a joint hanging out of his mouth, and he's maybe got a a sidearm strapped to his hip. I'm going to judge him and say, you know what? My daughter's not going out with you tonight. That's a judgment call that I'm going to make on the spot. That's judging people. Um, yeah, I don't, I'm not going to say too much more about that, but people's hearts can change. Uh, sorry, you're... Oh, now it's hippo. Hypo, hippo. <laughs> hungry, hungry hippo, Kevin. Hungry, hungry hippo Christian. That's funny. But no, um, judging people is important. If you don't, you could end up seriously hurt or dead sometime. So that that's all I'm going to say about that. That's, that's, a, that's a topic for a sermon message sometime, and I'm not going to do that tonight. Um, but I want to thank Jonathan. Wow. And Chuck. Awesome. You guys... You guys are what make this community what it is. Um, the the favors are repaid. You know, we pay it forward, we pay it back. We we you know we trade, but we don't give with the expectation of getting in, anything in return. Um, but in many cases, we do do that because that's just the nature of our hearts and the kind of people we are. So thank you guys so much for what you did. Uh, it's a true blessing. What fun we've had. This is cool. Um, I'm going to clean up just a little bit because I want to get into that tin. But you guys are awesome. These two cards are going to be prominently displayed there on my back. I'm going to rearrange a little bit and create some more space. But those two cards are definitely going up on my board. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. There's just so much goodness here. Um, I'm going to be up for hours sorting and organizing. But that's fun. That's the fun part of the hobby.
Thank you, Alex. I appreciate that. And we're not done yet. Like I said, we're gonna we're gonna crack open that 2020 tin here, and then hopefully, if y'all can make it tomorrow to Donald's stream, he's gonna open up the same product, and we're gonna have a little uh, what do you call it? You want to call it a tin war, Donald? A little tin war. You probably all don't want to stare at a football autograph, so I'm gonna set this one aside for now. <clears throat> but uh, here we go, tin war time. 75 cards. This will be the second tin that I've opened. I opened up a Vlad Jr. tin a couple weeks ago. This is awesome. I just finished my sorting of the little box. Oh, yeah, that little itty-bitty thing that Jonathan sent you this morning. I don't know how the mail didn't even lose The mail service didn't lose it in the mail. It was so tiny, you know, what it had what, one or two cards in it at the most. I would have expected more from Jonathan, really. It's like, if you're going to spend money for shipping, put more than two cards in there. <laughs> Y'all know I'm being facetious. That was a monster box. I don't want to scratch the, the tin. There we go. All right. There it is. Mookie Bets. Now, that's got a different uh, type of tag on it, Donald. The ones you've been opening have the long stick types. This is a flat. I don't know if it's even. Well, I guess it comes up. Very slow. There it comes. Eh, not too bad. All right. Don't scratch the tin. They are really nice. Let's stay away from more. Okay. <laughs> tin battle. Don't scratch. Ella, forgive him, John, for he knows not what he does. What? Did, who? What did I do? Okay. I'm lost on that one, but that's okay. I've been lost before. All right, here we go. There's our cards. Thick stack. All right, Mookie, let's pull some fire. Oh, when I said he only ships two cards. Yeah, he only shipped 2,000. <laughs> that was the box of the century. That was that was cool. I enjoyed watching that stream. There was like a whole, I don't know, collectors will watch that stream for years to come and learn from it. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put the turkey cards in the back. They hit, well, how does Donald do this? I've seen, okay. Okay, there. All the hits are, well, hits, I say, like, the insert cards are in the back. All right, so here we go. Get my fingers warmed up for this battle. Here we go. Tin battle. Michael Chavez, Future Stars card. A, uh, Brian Anderson for the Marlins. Mike Moustakis for the Brewers. Max Stassi for the Angels. Adrian Morejon for the Padres. These cards are slippery. That gloss is really glossy. Uh, Daniel Palka for the White Sox. Ian Kinsler for the Padres. Matt Barnes, Red Sox. Jake Arrieta for the Phillies. Uh, Javier says, come on, lucky Lux. 
Will that win it for me if I if I pull the Lux? Uh, Starling Marte, the newest D-back. Brandon Crawford, Austin Meadows, New York Yankees team card. Cardinals team card. They always have the team cards back to back. I noticed that. Uh, close call. At second base. Scott Kingery. Masahiro Tanaka. Ian Desmond. Uh, Sandy Alcantara. Francisco Lindor. Jose Berrios. Luke Jackson, Mike Talkman, David Price, uh, Roman Quinn for the Phillies, Alex Colome for the White Sox, Joey Lacesi for the Padres, Brandon Drury for the Blue Jays, Eloy Jimenez Gold Cup card. Okay, well, that's a start. We'll put that up against Donald Stack. Uh, Isan Diaz for the Marlins. Aroldis Chapman for the Yankees. There's Malik Smith with the Mariners. Looking to see if it's a short print. 269. No. Uh, Trey Turner. Oh, that was Jacoby Jones, by the way. Trey Turner for the Nationals. Jose Quintana for the Cubs. James Paxton for the Yankees. Um, okay. Come on, Lucky Lux. John just sold me the T84 hollow set. It's a set of the year for me. Wow. Yep. That's awesome, Kevin. Yeah, those, those throwback 84s are phenomenal. And the hollow sets are even better. That's cool. Uh, Hobbies has the same 10. Cool. Uh, I'm so glad... You get to enjoy those cards. As I said earlier, it was a lot of work to put into those sets, but I'm really not upset about letting it go at all. Well, that's good. Yeah, if you put too much value in materialistic stuff, it'll drive you nuts. I think it's just part of the hobby. Collect and share. God bless, bro. That's awesome. Thanks for blessing me, John. You're welcome. Absolutely. I think Donald's right. We all need to meet up at some point somewhere. Um, we'll definitely all meet up on, in heaven, but if it'd be cool to meet up on this side of heaven and catch a game or do something fun on earth, <laughs> that'd be cool. All right, second half, and this has all the goodies at the end, the hits and whatnot. Uh, Tim and Yolmer, Steven Strasburg, World Series card, Orlando Arcia, Wade Davis, Joey Votto, I know uh, SSP would say, okay, with that card, it's a winner. <laughs> uh, Steven Matz for the Mets. I like that. Matz for the Mets. Oh, and there's the Mets card. Look at that. Matz pitching for the Mets, and then we pulled the Mets card next. That's cool. And then there's the Twins team card. All right. Not the uh, Dodger we we're looking for, but uh, Tony Gonsolin. Or Gonsolin, not sure how to say it. For the Dodgers, boom, Bo Bichette, we got the bow. I don't know, Donald, we're getting some fire here. Um, Javius thinks I'll get May, possibly. Oh, that's cool, SSP, that'd be awesome if you guys could travel. If you make it down to Arizona for a Phoenix uh, game... I'll, I'll I'll meet you down there. Boba Fett. All right. That's part of our hit list. <laughs> hit list. Uh, Jason Kipnis for the Indians. Sonny Gray. Fernando Tatis Jr. All right, Donald. Got three hits there. Tim Anderson. There's the Manny. Dwight Smith Jr. for the Orioles. Matt Chapman for the A's. <clears throat> Michael Givens for the Orioles. Starlin Castro for the Marlins. Jordan or Jordan <laughs> Yamamoto. Rookie card for the Marlins. Miles Mikolas for the Cardinals. Vlad Jr. Gold Cup card. 
Stacking them up, Donald. That's four. Um, wow, now now SSP is being invited all over the country and world because uh, Jay's mix is up north. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, uh, Tyler Beatty for the Giants. Ooh, a Cattell Marte. Donald, I know it ain't going to count much, but in my opinion... I just won the the contest with that card. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but uh, that's a nice Marte card for sure. Boom, Chris Paddock. Chris Paddock, Future Stars. I got to put them in the hit list. I think a lot of people would agree with that. Uh, okay, we got a Jorge Polanco for the Twins. Domingo Santana for the Mariners. Sorry, Donald, I'm not going to put him in the pile. <laughs> and we got a uh, what do you call it? Rainbow foil. Jose Barrios with the Twins. Is that that one there? We got a Barry Larkins, 1990s decades best. <gasps> Boom! Are you kidding me? I pulled a Goldie. I pulled myself a Goldie. That's like uh, Donald pulling a Griffey Jr. right there. Now, unfortunately, that should say D-backs, but it is 2020. Um, that that's cool, Donald. I'm gonna let I'll okay for the sake of the battle. I'm gonna pull my 85 as a hit. As a hit. Whatever you get, you can pull it too in your hits. And here's our turkey cards. We got a McKay. And Donald, let me know if you need any of these. I think you said you're eight shy of the the, the total thing. So if you want to, here, I'll, I'll, I'll read the numbers off to you after a bit here, too. McKay, uh, Bogarts, Machado, Kershaw, and Boyd. And I'll get to those cards in a minute, Donald. And here's the numbers for you, too, in case you want to jot these down. 32, 56, 75. 43 and 33. Ding, ding, ding. Yep, nice goldie. Oh, okay. Yeah, thanks, SSP. You got, you got all those jotted down? 32, 56, 75, 43, 33. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, Donald, uh, SSP, just put the numbers down there. If you if you want to check your list, feel free. Yeah, SSP, congratulations. Um, I know I've, I've texted it to you and chatted that congratulations, but you have the, uh, the whole set of turkey cards. Shout out to Jose Tavares for coming through in the end there. He got you the Lux, but he didn't know if he had the um, Otani card for sure, but then he got home that evening and he texted me and said, hey, I got it. So he said, I'm throwing it in the box. I said, good deal. Uh, TR210. Oh, okay. Ah, sorry, I don't think we're going to be able to help you on that. It's like playing the lottery. You, you pick those numbers, but these are the numbers pulled. It's just like looking at a lottery screen. All right, and here's our Vlad Jr. inserts. We've got uh, A Week to Remember and Bump and Jump. And we got a, oh, John Smoltz, kind of a chrome 2000s decades best card for the Braves. That's beautiful. That is pretty. Nice. And, oh, SSP is going to like this one. Chrome Bregman. A chrome Bregman card. And our last hit. Our last card is a Steve Carlton, 1970s Decades Best. Tell you what, I'm not feeling really good about that Larkin. That's irking me. I'm going to pull it from the hit list just because it's an insert. But like I said, I'll give Donald um, the 85. He can throw his 85 in. But I'm going to pull the Decades Best out because you're guaranteed some of those. So there you have it. Round one of the battle is complete. So for hits, we didn't get the Lux, 
But we did pull a, a nice Goldschmidt, 85. Jose Barrios, Rainbow Foil. Uh, Chris Paddock, Future Stars. Vlad Jr. Gold Cup. Tatis Jr. Gold Cup. Bo Bichette Base. And Eloy Jimenez Gold Cup. So, there you go, Donald. The ball's in your court. <laughs> I look forward to seeing what, what you get. Oh, that's awesome. See, just by uh, this chat here, we're able to, everyone's able to check and see what they got and help out Donald complete that set. That's cool. All righty, guys. Um, my goodness, we've been going for two and a half hours. And I've still got 12 faithful followers watching. That That's cool. I thank you guys so, so much. I'll set these guys back out here. So um, let me give some quick shout-outs here. Jonathan, thank you, brother, so much for everything you sent. Um, just wow. That's all I can say. Chuck, same thing, brother. You didn't have to send me anything, but you did, and I so much appreciate it. Um, you guys are awesome. And um, Eloy, if you're lurking in the background, I don't know if you come in my stream at all, but thanks for sending those cards that I bought into. Some great hits there. And that eBay purchase I got of that printing plate, I'm going to get this slabbed up in a screw-down uh, case as well. So I'll do that later on tonight. So those are the mail calls. But really, guys, shout-out to all of you. I've got a dozen people in here watching. Every single one of you, thank you so much for supporting my channel, getting me as far as I am at. I'm, I'm actually approaching probably my next milestone will be the 400 subscriber mark. I'm, at th I'm in the 370s right now. So if I can get 30 more, I know they're out there somewhere lurking, but uh, that'd be awesome if I could get them in the near future. But it's not about the numbers for me, guys. It's all about the community, the chat, the conversations we have, the socializing, the fellowship. It just, it's awesome. And I so look forward to doing these videos for you guys, and I enjoy watching your all's videos when you upload. Um, and speaking of videos, uh, I got an alert tomorrow evening. Ethan is going to be having a sale. So I look forward to that. I'll be there. Hopefully you guys can make it. And then that'll be Saturday night. Sunday afternoon, I will be doing my Sunday dollar sales. Um, Jose may or may not be here with me. I'm not sure. We have to discuss that. Um, hopefully he's got some cards that he may want to try to um, sell off. Um, but because I have no church, I won't have any time constraints. So... In the past, I've had to kind of end the stream early, but this coming Sunday should have no issues with that whatsoever. So, guys, I'm going to sign off for now. I want to thank you all again for joining me. Um, I love it. I love this community. I love this hobby. I love you guys. So I hopefully I'll catch you all uh, tomorrow night in Ethan's stream. If not, please join me on Sunday for my Sunday dollar sales. So until then, guys, you all have a wonderful evening. God bless you. Take care. Good night.